is the is the inquirer's story right? He goes, Mark, it sure is. He said it's as honest as it could be. I said, okay. So anyway, he's going to talk about that coming up at twelve forty-five oh, today. So big uh, people doing the, the right thing, it would appear, and we'll look forward to visiting with him coming up today. Uh, also, a postscript. Um, we were down in Atumwa on uh, late Friday night for me. You were there for the big banquet and all day on Friday. Right, right. Uh, and then, of course, we had a, a prayer meeting. At uh, the hotel Friday evening. Uh, and then uh, you were there for the banquet where an old friend of ours, uh, Dr. Daryl Strobean, was honored into the Cattlemen's Hall of Fame and a richly deserved award. So congratulations to Stro. That is great. Uh, Well-deserved 35 years of efforts on behalf of the uh, livestock industry and cattle in particular in the state of Iowa. And just a great guy. And then on Saturday morning, I had a chance to address the troops. And I think it went well. Everybody seemed like they were awake. And uh, saw a whole lot of people that I don't get to see on a regular basis. Bill Miller, uh, the former associate beef editor for Successful Farming Magazine with U.S. Premium Beef, uh, the Pilcher family, uh, just a lot of, of great folks. And of course, uh, our friend Bill Kowser and and uh, the crew, uh, they were down there. Uh, so it was great to see a lot of people. Jeff Ryan, who we've talked about so many times in this program, has been a guest on this program, turned us on to Goat Socks. He was there as well with his new bride, Cheryl, and she's a sweetheart. And again, we congratulate him. The only gag order I've ever observed that's, was not spilling the beans. That's right. I yeah. guess I spilled it to yeah. you. Yeah, you did. But I didn't spill it on the air. And I was very tempted to. But anyway, congratulations to uh, to Jeff on uh, on his nuptials. Uh, and uh, she's a beekeeper, he tells me. Really? And uh, so he's going to start into the bees oh. up there, Cresco Way. So I had that. Uh, I want to talk about the Lauren Airy book this week, and I'm going to get to it. Okay. Uh, the Airy family uh, from North of Cedar Rapids, just a great story, great people, and a wonderful book written by uh, uh, Mr. Airy about his career in agriculture, which actually started down in South Central Iowa. And ironically, he, he was one of the first extension directors for Madison County, and he worked with a good friend of mine, the late Hubert Jones, and so some great connections there, but just a great history book about post-pioneer Iowa agriculture. So I'll get to that uh, this week at some point. Anyway, uh, we've, we've, we've dillied uh, long enough. We've got a new sponsor to the program uh, for, uh, for the markets, and uh, very exciting. And we're going to be visiting with those folks coming up here in just a moment. Before we get started with the markets, let's get a little feel of what's happening out there in the trade. Jamie Kohaki, who also joined us at the Iowa Cattlemen's Convention on Saturday morning, uh, is with us this morning. And, Jamie, give us a quick look at these uh, markets and what's behind them. A little choppier trade today, Mark. Uh, sideways a little bit lower this morning. Not a whole lot of fresh news out. The inspections were a little bit lower than last week in corn and wheat. And today being the last day of the month, just have some light profit taking. Corn is mixed. Beans down nine. Wheat's down three. Pretty quiet trade. All right. Is there is there much, Jimmy? Just real quick, and Bob will give these numbers in a minute. But on the oil front, what's happening there? Uh, despite the dollar being thirty points lower, uh, crude today May down six cents. We were up over a dollar starting off last night, but are not getting the follow through today. Looks like the uh, bubble may be popping there real lightly, and the, the money is not falling through like it was last week. All right, this week dollar. What do you make of that? I think it's here to stay until we get the QE1 and 2 and 3 news out of the market. I think the trend is still down. It'll be supportive yet on breaks, but uh, I don't think it's anything surprising that uh, we're going to you know, keep trading lower short term. All right. Well, we'll keep track of things. Uh, Jamie, appreciate it. People want to get more information from you. Uh, what do they need to do? Uh, Toll free number, Mark, 888 452 8751. We appreciate it. Jamie Kohaki joins us regularly here on the big show. Great to see you Saturday, Jamie. Hope that was worthwhile for you. Got to meet a lot of good people. Bob before he snuck out. I know. It. He yeah. Snuck out. He didn't talk to you. I know it. We're Somebody gonna... said it was time for lunch and I was supposed to pay, so I figured I better. Uh... <laughs> well, and that's where you messed up because my whole goal was to grab the two of you and then we would go over to the canteen. Oh, one of my favorites. 
Or loose the all-time meat. favorites. Loose Meat uh, Sammy's, buddy. Loose Meat Sandwich over there at the canteen. Mm-hmm. But they also used to have Tremendous Pie. And I hadn't been there in a long time. Then I started talking to people. One thing led to another. And it was like, when do we get there, Jamie? About 1 o'clock? Yeah, it was about 1 o'clock, yeah. So I missed it. Had to get home. Had some other commitments. And so I wasn't able to get over there. But I was going to buy you boys lunch over there. Of course, you don't notice I usually say that oh, about a day or two after it's too late to happen. Yeah, I noticed that. Anyway. <laughs> hey, Jamie, thanks, buddy. Thank you. Good to see you. Bob Quinn. Oh, sorry I missed him there. Yeah, well, he yeah. wanted to see you, and uh, he yeah. wanted to meet Jeff Ryan because he'd heard about the goat sock story and all the other stuff. And uh, Ryan, I don't know what happened to him. He disappeared after my – everybody disappeared after my talk. I was a little hurt, but uh, had a great time. Boy, what a great honor that was to address that group, and what a great group that's been through the years. Yes, a lot of leadership is. has come through the Iowa Cattlemen's Association. They, no matter what, they always seem to pull out uh, some some great leaders for the industry, and, and they're doing it again uh, in 2011. So congratulations to them. You bet. Hey, what